Ciao, I'm Tony Nicello and welcome to Home with the Lost Italian. Recently, my wife and I hosted our annual fundraiser dinner at Sorello's Restaurant to support the Fargo-Moorhead Opera Company. We love the opera. This is an evening of music, food, wine, and friendship. What could be better? To complete this fabulous and delicious dinner, we served a perfect dessert. It's called Torta al Vino Rosso, red wine cake. This dessert sounds like an opera, and to help me today put this fabulous dessert together is my wife, Sarah. Just kidding. <laughs> this is my very good friend, Denise Ackerman, and she is a great supporter of the opera company as well. All right, Denise, let's take a look at our ingredients for this delicious cake. Okay, we have a cup of red wine. We need a red wine, right? And we're using Zinfandel today. Okay. A cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, Okay, three quarter cup of regular sugar and egg whites. There's three egg whites here because we separated three eggs and we have the three yolks over here. Half a cup of regular sugar, two sticks of unsalted butter. And we have these at room temperature so they're soft, right? right? That's eight ounces. And of course, chocolate, some chocolate. And right here we have five ounces of beautiful, delicious, semi-sweet chocolate. Then we also have a spring form pan that we've buttered lightly and we've cut a circle of parchment paper, but you can also use wax paper. Wax paper. Well. And also to decorate the tart once it's done, we have these beautiful raspberries. All right, let's get started. So what do we have to do first? So we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar. Okay. So we have our two sticks of unsalted butter that we left out at room temperature, so nice and soft, right? Oh, it makes the creaming much easier. When much easier, done. okay. And next, we're gonna add half a cup of regular sugar, sugar. okay? So we're just going to cream those together now. And that doesn't take very long. And we're using the paddle attachment. So how long do we do this for? So it looks light and creamy. Light and creamy, okay. Yeah. About medium speed, now the high speed. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. I'm off. Let's see what it looks like. Is that what we're looking for? Yeah. Beautiful. See how easy that is? Okay, what goes in next? Now we're going to uh, incorporate the egg yolks. The egg yolks, okay, perfect. And one at a time. One at a time. And we have medium speed right now on the mixer. All right. Not medium speed. You could probably mix the dry ingredients together. Thank you. While we're doing this. All right, so I have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. Put that into a large bowl. A tablespoon of baking powder, okay. And half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna mix these all together with the whisk here. Okay, so these are our dry ingredients, which we're going to add to our wet ingredients. All done, Denise. Awesome. Looks beautiful, huh? All the egg yolks are incorporated. Okay. We can add the chocolate. Time for the chocolata. Yep. So red wine and chocolate and berries. It's an awesome. opera. It's beautiful. Okay. So we're going to add those in just like that. Okay. Just like that. And, then and how long do we do this for? That's exactly. it, just to it's, mix it. It's mixed. Now we're going to put in the dry and the wet, which is the wine. The wine. So we're going to add our cup of red wine, and we're using Zinfandel wine. We like Zinfandel. The red wine is berries and plums and blackberries and raspberries. Those are the flavors that we're looking for with our vino today. Okay. So a little bit of the dry ingredients. A little bit of the dry. A little bit of the red wine now. And be careful. Okay. You Should I stand much? back? Look at that. Delicious. Excellent. All right, so all the vinos in there. All the vinos in there. And now all the dry ingredients right in the bowl. There you Beautiful. Go. Beautiful. Okay. So everything's in there. Now how long do we do this for? Just to mix everything together. All right. Let me see what this looks like. Weird angle. Look at that. Just incorporate all the ingredients. Got that beautiful color of the vino and all the chocolate bits in there. Delicious. And we have another mixing bowl to make our meringue, our egg whites. And make sure the bowl is very clean, right Denise? Right, you don't want any like grease or anything in with your egg whites or they won't, you won't get the volume. So three egg whites? Three egg whites. Right in the bowl, okay. And then you're just gonna let this go until soft peaks form, which we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, soft peaks. Those are soft. soft oh, okay, peaks. just like that. Just like that. So then we put it back in. And then we start with the sugar. With the sugar, okay. So we're gonna sweeten the egg whites, regular sugar. 
this will take a little bit because. Okay. So we just let that mix. Let Sweet it. it. All right. I think we're there, Tony. Are we at? We have the stiff peaks now? We have stiff peaks. All right, let's see what that looks like. Just Look like at that. that. So if we take the attachment off, that's also a there stiff peak, right? And then um, something my pastry chef told me, I remember this in culinary school, he's like, how do you know when you have stiff peaks? He took the bowl and he went, that's how you know when you have stiff peaks. What do you think, Denise? Uh, yes, that is a way of doing it. <laughs> All right, so we yeah. don't want to waste anything, so we'll put that in the bowl. Right. And now let's put it together. Okay. So now we're going to fold those stiff yeah. peaks. I'm going to put just a little bit in at first. Okay. To kind of lighten up the mixture. Beautiful. A little bit. And when you're mixing whites, you always just want to fold, right? This is folding. This isn't stirring. No, because you'll take all the volume out of the, the, whites. Out of the whites. That's the whole purpose of the meringue. Excellent. Okay, I perfect. Think we're, there. we're there. We're there. So we have our springform pan that we buttered, and we also have some parchment paper on the bottom. All right. Okay. I gotta Ready? I, gotta I can hold it for oh, you, all right? You hold. Oh, scoop. We're working together, right? Here we go. Look at that. Denise. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Awesome. Mm hmm. And we'll spread it out. Now, we spread it out nice and even on top. Yep. Look at that. And one thing that we forgot to do, Denise. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to taste it. Because it's so delicious. I'm doing that to get any air bubbles out. Air bubbles up. So I just let it drop good. on the counter a few times. Yep. So we're ready. I think in the ready. oven. In the oven at? 350. All right. So how long? We'll put it in there for what? 50 minutes, 55 minutes? Right. Okay. So put a toothpick in the center. It comes out clean. You're done. And we're done. All right, Denise. I took the cake out of the oven. Doesn't it look beautiful? I can't wait to try this. It's going to be awesome. All right. So a peri knife cut around. Exactly. To release it from the sides. Look at that. Chum. Ta-da. I'll let you do the honors. Thank you. You're welcome. Ch -ch -ch. Here we go. So, just like that. All the way down. Okay. Big piece or small piece? Small piece, Tony. She's talking to an Italian. <laughs> I got to cut down here a little bit more. Okay. Thank you. Okay. One there. Look at that. You can't even see the chocolates but you see that little color of the, the red okay. wine in there. Now, earlier we also made a red wine syrup sauce, right? Right. So we had half a cup of the Zinfandel wine and half a cup of sugar. And we just cooked this on medium heat until it re uh, reduced to the consistency that we're looking for. Just nice syrupy consistency, just like that. And we're just gonna garnish with the raspberries, a little green. A little green, a little white, a little red. What is that? Christmas. The Italian flag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Torta al vino rosso, the red wine chocolate cake. A fork for you. Thank you. Should we try our pieces here? All right, so we'll take a bit of the chocolate, a little whipped cream, a little of the sauce. Oh. Not super sweet. The red wine is really subtle. The chocolate is subtle. I just want to crave more and more and more. Isn't that delicious? It's delicious. All right, Denise, a toast. Thank you for your help with You're the welcome, Fargo Tony. Moorhead Opera fundraiser this year. We had a great success. This cake will be a success when you're making it at home for yourself for any occasion. Salute. Salute. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Thank you. Arrivederci.